Welcome back, fellow citizens of JAR, to Darren for Super President. This is the show in which we try to build our own country, take over the entire universe, and fix all of the universe's problems. If that sounds like something you think you might like, please hit the subscribe button down below to be counted as a citizen, and to join us on our path to glory. I immediately regret wearing a sweater with how many lights on my face. On my face. <clears throat> the oceans. I know, they're there. A never-ending, bubbling, rolling, toiling, bubbling, troubling cauldron of, of fish. Could we build a country there, down below, in the oceans, Mariana Trench? Ah, there's basically all of the things you have above ground, but be below, but down there, too. It's the same, but different. <laughs> Simply building a country will be very problematic, if you think about it straightforward, because I need to breathe. I'm not sure if you need to breathe, that would be very reductive of me to just assume that for every person here, but for those who don't need to breathe, drop me a line, I need to learn. What if we built a Gungan-style city of jars? floating down there deep below. Tell me what you think down in the comments, but we need to go over some pros and cons of this particular situation. Could you even build an underwater city? Sure, there are plenty of them. Very not, none of them are intentional yet. So here we are, let's go over some pros and cons of a possible future underwater city run by me. Pros, it's never cloudy and it never rains, nor does it snow. That's right, the weather forecast for today Wet, but not rain. Gotta give me that one. Cons. Walls have to be incredibly thick to withhold all of that pressure. And realistically, no one likes pressure in life, so just give the walls a break. Pros. It is a free aquarium. All the time. Look out your window. It's a fish. Cons. All of the citizens now have to worry about getting caught in those plastic drink container rings. Cause it's just not, it's not just for turtles anymore. <laughs> Also, don't eat straws. Come on, people. <laughs> Pros. On location sushi. Served to you by the undercurrent and undertow of the entire world's best conveyor belt. The ocean currents. Pros. Fish people. Cons. F fish, fish people. What do we think? Would we like to do that with, with jars in the ocean? Having those bubbly things? We've got to be very careful, because as Star Wars has taught me, there's always a bigger fish, and if somebody takes the lid off of our jar city, it's cat catastrophe, catastrophe, everywhere. Water in, citizens drowning, not good. Unless we know that breathing trick from before. This is... I have a table. This is... Uh, my set is extremely flimsy. Shush. <laughs> So let me know, should we build an Atlantis-style city beneath the waves, curling, whirling, and letting us fulfill all of our darkest, literally, desires because there's no sun down there, but I'll put some lights up, they're bright and I'm sweaty. <laughs> or should we sick to the land, lover? Realistically, the ocean has not been very well explored at all, so this would give us a new lease on science. And a new series. That's right, I'm starting another one. I could start as many series as I want. I could make a whole series on peanut butter, you don't know that. You don't know me. <laughs> I have so many video ideas, you should shut up. Okay, well, let's go. So this has been your super presidential candidate, Darren, signing off for Saturday, saying, Welcome to JAR. JAR takes all kinds. You are family now. Please join us this week and every week. We go up every single Saturday and Monday. Don't forget to check the description down below for some links to some fun things, and as always, I will leave you all with our viewer submitted model for JAR, which is, we are JAR. If you love JAR, you love us. See you Monday. And this episode is brought to you Beneath the Waves by Luke and Rachel. It's, li it's like the Little Mermaid, but, but instead of getting legs, they, they, gave, they gave me money. <laughs> <laughs>